The Santa Pod Raceway in Bedfordshire, England is the home of European drag racing. The venue for the FIA's European Championships, the pod recently played host to a woman hooked on speed. Meet drag racing debutante Karen Aston. When I had my seven seconds with John Webster in the two-seater drag, so I was like, wow, this is amazing. I, I, want, I want some more of this. So that's, that's, I suppose, how it is. It makes me feel invigorated, it's exciting, and it's always different. Drag racing is a contest between two vehicles over a flat, straight distance, normally a quarter of a mile. The sport started in the United States in the 1920s, but grew in popularity after World War II. Soon after, it spread internationally, and today it boasts a huge and dedicated following around the world. It's often labelled the loudest and fastest sport on earth, with top fuel dragsters accelerating from zero to 500 kilometres per hour in under five seconds. These vehicles prepare for such outlandish rates of acceleration by doing burnouts, which help the tyres adhere to the tarmac. John Webster is Britain's top drag racer. They have to get their tyres warm before the start of the race, so that's the idea of the burnout. Um, there's kind of different ideas on what's good and what's bad for a burnout, but generally a good conditioned tyre will, once it's generating smoke, is generally warm enough for the run. With tracks so short, races can be over in less than four seconds, with finishing or terminal speeds exceeding 530 kilometres per hour in some cases. However, the most important factor in determining which driver wins is their reaction time away from the Christmas tree, the traffic light system used to start races. There's two sets of lights at the top of the tree called pre-stage and stage. Once they're in full stage, the starter will then press the button and then the driver has to react to the tree. If you're slow on the tree, you'll see that the, the car that's reacted better is ahead of the other car. And it's very, very difficult to gain time back. For Karen Aston, wanting to perform in the forthcoming British drag racing season has more visceral overtones than just needing to achieve the ultimate adrenaline high. The 36-year-old from Windsor suffers from multiple sclerosis, a condition which has affected her for the past 15 years. Less than 12 months after her first taste of the sport, Aston and her partner Gordon have purchased two cars and created a racing team, Team Edge, not only to compete, but also to promote awareness of MS. Well, Team Edge is new for 2010 with two cars and, and I'm, I'm going to be racing one of them, Enigma. And Gordon set the team up, wanting people to understand, like me, because he's been there with me when people say, well, it doesn't look like there's anything wrong with Karen, you know. What's her mess? Multiple sclerosis is an incurable disease affecting the central nervous system. Over two million people are affected by it around the world, and the most common symptoms include fatigue, vision problems, and muscle weakness. Karen, who's also a qualified nurse, now hopes her racing adventures will bring the disease to the attention of millions around the world. Her first competitive outing takes place this week in the street eliminator category at Santa Pod's Easter Thunderball. To improve her driving skills with Enigma, Kaz is taking last-minute tuition from John Webster. It's important that it's, it's really broke down to basics because it looks so easy in a lot of ways for what goes on, but there's a lot to think about, the functionality of the car, keep an eye on what's going on within the car with gauges and that kind of stuff, you know. Um, and like Karen's really receptive to anything that's, that's said really and uh, I think she'll do really well. Testing days like today are the key to success as it gives the driver time to get used to the car and iron out any mechanical problems before the big day. A lot of the race actually occurs in the pits because it's 
preparation. So if the car's prepped properly and tuned properly, then you've only got to go to the track and hope that you've got better than the other guy in the other lane. But ultimately, most races are won on the start line. The anticipation and thrill of preparing for her first meeting provides Karen with a welcome distraction from the troubles of MS. Despite her excitement at becoming one of few women to enter the sport, she knows that she has to take it one step at a time and not look for immediate returns. It's one of those things where it's understanding your limitations and actually not pushing your body into a situation where you've kind of pushed it too far and then you might need extra time out. So, for example, after a run down the track like today, it's like, right, gently, gently, get the feedback, work with the mechanics, and then just maybe make a bit of time for Kaz. The world of drag racing has provided Karen with a great platform to promote awareness about a disease that's underreported around the world. Even if she brings MS to the attention of just one more person, then Enigma and Karen Aston will have done their job. But whatever the outcome, she's determined to have fun. I just want Enigma to run as fast as possible. And yes, there's some really amazing drivers and teams in Street Eliminator that set. Um, I suppose they've inspired me really um, last year, but I'm just trying to do it as best as I can. And I want to be the fastest nurse on earth. Karen Aston has entered a world of smoking tyres, nitrous oxide and stupendous speed. The finish line is in sight and only seconds away. So, let the competition begin. <laughs>